It's been in there for a while. The light on set and the gates fly back in there racing and it didn't do compare any harm at all. He bounced out well to go straight to an early lead with Taipei Dancer. They're heading head early. And Lividas is going to be up there three wide to put the pressure on. So Compare takes a sit and the Alpander's Choice will sit off at the tail. So at the seven and Taipei Dancer under a hold. Shows the way and neck in front of Lividas. It's outside. Compare's third, the end and then of Panda's Choice who tracks up to get into the one out, one back position inside the six. So fair to say all four with a solid chance working down the side. Taipei Dancer travels strongly though. Leads ahead in front of Lividas. Panda's Choice is coming up three wide under cross and just dropping off there. Compare will try and get home along the inside you'd think. So straight up at the three and Taipei Dancer still held together, hasn't been asked a supreme effort Arnott looks pretty confident here, Lividas is trying hard to get on terms, Panda's Choice and Compare battle away but Taipei Dancer at the 150 starting to extend nicely now, put a winning break on him Compare gets into second from Lividas, Panda's Choice, they all fought hard but Taipei Dancer a bit classy, he went to the line strong, good win wins it by two and a half to three on the line to Compare, third Lividas and Panda's Choice the last one home in a busy race but the top weight too good just recapping there, the late scratching of number four, Remodify. But number one, Taipei Dancer. Vanessa Arnott sent it straight to the lead. Didn't it travel well? And she really <coughs> ran along nicely there for uh, Vanessa. She really held it together. She didn't ask for the supreme effort until inside the two. And when that was asked, it certainly responded. Nice little mare. She's only a four-year-old mare too, so she's certainly got plenty of upside going forward. She hasn't had many starts at all, and she's been most consistent because I think the other three in the race have been pretty much on their game today but they really were held easily in the end by the top way number one Taipei the answer first second goes to two compare got uh, a good start then Barry decided to take a, a sit which I think was a, a good move and he, he tried hard to pick up the leader but just couldn't and third goes to three and that's uh, Lividas who sat outside the leader so that's two solid runs from that horse only had the two starts to date and ran a pretty honest race in the end fourth will go to five and that was Panda's Choice who raced pretty well also so might be a little bit of form out of it. Number one, Taipei Dancer. First, second goes to two, Compare. Third, three, Lividas. And fourth went to five, Panda's Choice. Two and three quarters of length, 57.99. One Taipei Dancer, a four-year-old bay mare. Shin Zig dies past. Owned by Jay Manning, the on-fire racing syndicate. S. Barkham and Boucher, J. McCallion, G. Benane, D. De Silva, K. Wilson, R. Scanlon, S. Thomason, trained by Jason Manning, and Vanessa Rarnett picks up the win this afternoon. It's, I think it's been a little while since Jason's had a had a win, but uh, he doesn't, you know, he hasn't he's got huge numbers. So good to see her back in uh, back in fine fettle, and good to see Jace back in the winning circle. Tuscarora running well this afternoon. Second two compare four-year-old Bay Gilding host quick retort for Dave Waters, Barry Harbert. That's two good runs together now. And third three livid as a three-year-old Bay Gilding poet's voice, Sybil Line, Phil Cole. Jared Todd in the saddle and it won't be long till uh, that uh, you think the second and third will pick up uh, their maids and Ethan Panda's choice is looking pretty good with racing. So 57.992 and three quarters by one and we stand by for winners to return.